PTA community and welcome to Croatia. My name is Caroline and I'm so excited to be taking you along with me today. I'll be teaching a few online students this morning and then doing some lesson prep for a class that I substitute in person tomorrow at a school here in Croatia. I am a very proud ITA alum and I can't wait to tell you a little bit about my story and how I ended up here in Croatia and how ITA helped me out along the way. So just a few things that might help you get to know me a little bit better. I am from the United States. Originally, I am from Kansas. I moved to Croatia from New York City because I am an actress. My degree is in music, theater, and dance, and I graduated from Wichita State University. I just got TEFL certified in August. Um, I believe I took the 11-week course um, online part-time with uh, the International TEFL Academy. And then I did my practicum and got my official certification in August. So I'm kind of new, honestly, to the TEFL world, but I chose to get TEFL certified uh, in order to travel. Um, another important thing you should know about me, one of my favorite grocery items in Europe is this cereal right here. I eat it every single day. And if you are in Europe right now and you have not tried granola, crunchly muesli, specifically chocolate, I implore you to do so. So this is my setup for my online lessons. I have a really nice view out here, which is nice, and I like the natural light, so I usually face the window. Um, as you might be able to tell, my first student this morning is a little person. She is actually five years old, and she's from China, so I always bring some fun activities to show her we often talk about colors this is clay we love to build things together me with my clay and her with her play-doh um and talk about what we're doing uh, our goal in our lessons is for her to work in full sentences so um it's it's really fun to work with her um i also drink copious amounts of water during my lessons so i always have backup and um today i'll sit here for about I think I have four or five students, so um, a good a good chunk of time, definitely. Hello. So my next student today is a woman from the Ukraine. Um, we both share a passion for music. So um, actually, the last few discussion topics we've had, I've asked her to watch some of my favorite um, musicals and things so we could talk about them. We also talked about the Michael Jackson Super Bowl performance. And this week, she got to choose the topic. And so she has sent me a bunch of Eurovision videos. And so that's what I'm right now preparing for our lesson looks like this is the grand final of 2016 i'm learning so much eurovision is so cool i didn't know much about it at all so i'm excited for our discussion today okay so that lesson was so fun i actually on new year's eve had the opportunity to go to a live concert. Um, it was in like the main square here in Zagreb of the band that represented um, Croatia in Eurovision last year. So we got to talk about that a little bit and compare the bands from Ukraine that she had sent me versus what I had seen in real life. Um, so it was just so fun. Today I kind of have like the dream online schedule because I have two students and then an hour break right now. So I'm going to eat some lunch and then two more students and then I'm done by two. Tomorrow is like a per oh, that's my bread. Tomorrow is a perfect example of like a schedule that maybe isn't the best because I have seven students in a row. So I'll be teaching for about seven hours and the longest break I have in there is a half hour. So I was traveling this weekend though, so I try to be really fair to my students where if I take some time off, then I really get them in. So it's kind of like so it's kind of like a trade-off. Uh so I work for Preply for my online students. And on Preply, you get to create your own availability, which as a traveler is amazing. It's so nice. However, um when you have open availability, a lot of times it can fill up really quick. So in order to travel, I block out a few days, but I always let my students know and I, I try to fit them in um, the, on the days that I return. So like I said, tomorrow I teach for about seven hours and then I'm going to go in person and teach at the language school here in Zagreb as well. So it'll be a long day, but a good day. 
Um, I highly recommend teaching on Preply. I would just say if you decide to be an English tutor, I think they're hiring right now. Um, they recommend starting at a rate of like $9 an hour, but they do take commission. So if I could speak to like past Caroline, I would tell her don't start at nine, start at 12. That way you're at least making $10 a lesson. Honestly, I just looked at the commission rates for Preply and they, they start really high. And as you teach more lessons, the commission rate goes down because you're considered like a trusted tutor. Um, so maybe, honestly, I think maybe you would have to have a, a rate of like 16 or so um, to make 10 an hour when you first start. So just like take some time to do the math to see what's worth it for you. Um, this is my lunch. I love charcuterie and I pretty much eat charcuterie every single day. Here it's my go-to lunch um, because all of the ingredients are so good in Europe. The cheese, the jam, the bread, the butter even, like very elevated. Um, I also love to bake and so I wanted to show you um, something that as an American I thought was quite interesting is they serve their chocolate chips in boxes here, which this took me forever to find at the grocery store. They also don't sell brown sugar and they sell vanilla extract in these little pouches, so. So, I just finished teaching my last two lessons of the day. They were very, very fun. Um, my first student was calling me from Egypt, and, oh, there's Zagreb behind me a little bit. And my second student was calling me from Argentina, but he is actually Russian. So that's what's so fun about all this is like everybody's everywhere and I'm included in that. Um, sorry, I just love to show you the city. I'll give you a full view in just a sec. Okay, so now the big question. Caroline, why on earth are you in Croatia? <laughs> well, it's a good story. Um, so I was living in New York City, and um, I, like I said earlier, I'm an actress. I was getting a little overwhelmed. I had a lot of responsibilities going on. I had like five different jobs, not even out of necessity, just because different things had presented themselves. I had said yes, and I realized that I probably wouldn't be able to pursue or prioritize my acting dreams in the current routine that I was set up in. So I was like, okay, well, I can either quit all my jobs and start again, or I could go do something else that's going to fill me up and um, then return to New York with like a new perspective. So I decided to do the latter, and something else I love to do is travel. So I was looking into getting English certified, certified to teach English, and I um, I found the International Temple Academy on the uh, internet and I reached out and got an advisor. My advisor's name is Michael. He was the best. So yes, my advisor's name is Michael and he was so wonderful. I met with him or had a call with him about a year ago today actually like almost February of last year and um, I told him you know Michael I'm really interested in this but I don't think I can afford to get certified I don't think it's in the cards for me and he was so great because he really believed in me and he was like you know Caroline like let's just stay in touch like I think you'd be a great English teacher I really believe this would be awesome for you so like stay in touch and he told me about the discount days and he's like if it's supposed to be it'll be so I keep in touch with Michael until literally May of this last year and I suddenly come into some unexpected funds um, from like my tax return, basically. And I'm like, I want to use this to get TEFL certified. So I got te uh, TEFL certified. And then I had the most amazing professor. His name is Johnny. And Johnny um, just like really sparked this like interest and love for teaching. So yeah, I just thought Johnny was the best professor ever. I really loved his teaching tactics and he gave such great advice and I still use Johnny's advice um, in my classrooms today and I think of him quite often because he had awesome warm-up exercises. I really liked, he always started with a, like a really fun video and I like to do that now too. So um, anyway, after I got certified, then I was working uh, at a hotel and one of my colleagues was like looking over my shoulder he's like oh that's so cool you got English certified I almost did that I said oh that's cool where he said oh in Croatia I said 
In Croatia? Because I had actually been to Croatia before. They filmed Mamma Mia 2 in Croatia. And so I was here in 2019, and I really like it here. I said, what do you mean? He said, oh, well, you know, my uncle basically, like, you know, is a director at an English school in Croatia. And I was like, do you think maybe I could go work there? (laughs) And it was kind of, he was like, maybe. And then I just couldn't stop thinking about the idea, and I really heavily pursued it. So I basically reached out to the English school and apply and um, didn't hear back for quite a while just because the um, the schedule here in, in the Balkans in Croatia is very slow, very different, especially if you reach out on like summer holiday, which it was. Um, but I just felt a really big driving force bringing me here. And so I was like, you know what, even if I don't get to work in person, I really... I want to be in Croatia. Um, Croatia is very affordable. Um, Croatia is very central. It is somewhere I had been before. Um, I like the people here. They're, they're very different. This, you know, the culture here is, is quite different than the United States. Um, I like the food here. There were a lot of reasons. They have public transit in Zagreb. Um, so I kind of just went for it and I showed up and then uh, I did get to interview at the English school and now I substitute with them, which is so awesome because it means I can travel as well. That substituting flexibility is like the best thing ever. All that to say, you never know where connections are going to come from because a tiny little comment that my colleague made months ago, and now I live here. <laughs> I've been living here for a little while. So um, it's been really special and I love Croatia. And uh, I really heavily believe that if you feel in your heart and soul that you're supposed to be somewhere, you should just go for it. Um, and the rest usually works itself out. I like to believe that the universe wants you to be happy too. <laughs> I'm a solo female traveler. Of course I call my best friends and accidentally forget about the time zone difference. I'm a solo female traveler. Of course I think I'm going to meet someone handsome and fall in love. I'm a solo female traveler. Some days I have the You guys, I have great news. I just got a call from the language school and they need me to come in and sub tonight. Which is so fun! So guess who's coming with me? You! So I'm just about ready to head out to the English school tonight. Um, I thought this was a great question though. So how long did it take me to adjust to a new place? Well, I kind of got lucky. I feel like when you have a job somewhere, and then you have a friend somewhere, and then you have your grocery store, you kind of like start to create habits. Um, My contract here is only three months, so I'm actually on the very tail end of it right now, and then I'll be moving to Turkey uh, for a few weeks. I'm trying to travel a majority of this year, so we'll see see how long it lasts. But uh, I remember on day 18, specifically, uh, feeling like I had routines. I was like, oh, I have to do this and that, I'm gonna go see this friend, and I have to do this for work, and then I was like, I live here. (laughs) So I think I actually got pretty lucky because things worked out pretty easily uh, when I moved here. All right, guys, I am home after teaching this evening. The class was really fun. My students were very engaged this evening. We went through two pages of their book, uh, doing reading exercises, and then we did two pages of their workbook as well. Um, After that, we had some fun because they were actually helping me with my Croatian alphabet. So the Croatian alphabet is very complicated. There's lots of ch and sh and j, and the letters look different. So um, I found 
around some of the best teachers that I have are my students in these classes because they're native Croatian speakers. So um, it's been quite fun to learn from them. They were helping me with my rolled R a little bit as well. I also wanted to show you guys, this is my magnet collection from the places that I have gotten to visit so far um, during my time teaching abroad. All right, everybody, that kind of wraps up our day. I still need to do some uh, lesson prep for tomorrow because tomorrow I teach two classes at the language school. And um, since I was called in this evening, um, I still have a little bit of work to do. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, then I'll just go to bed. But thank you so much for having me today. I hope I was helpful. Hope you learned some things. It's been so special to do a takeover because literally it was not long ago at all that I was watching one of these thinking, how could I, how could I do that maybe? Could this be me? So I hope maybe today you saw a little bit of yourself in me. I would encourage you if you're feeling up for it, if you're on the line, Go for it. You will not regret it. And all the little things, they will work themselves out. Thanks again for your time today, you guys. Uh, you can follow me at these handles, and um, I hope to keep sharing my adventure. <laughs>